Hey guys, today we take a look at a budget smartphone from Huawei. It's called the Snap 2. Resource for 179. You can pick it up at Huawei.com now. It's got a 2 megapixel front facing camera, a 5 inch 720p display. At the rear, you've got a 5 megapixel camera, LED flash. Now, this is powered by the Snapdragon 400 processor. So, this is actually an older processor with about a gig of RAM in there. And uh, you can expand the storage from 4 gigabytes to 32 bit storage. And it also will support your LTE with a CAT4 LTE signal. Now, this is, like I said, a budget smartphone really cheap something to use running Android 4.4.4 so it's something that you can easily pick up uh, on the go now it's running its own custom OS on there and it's actually pretty smooth so you get a smooth experience even though it's actually heavily laid on top of what you get from Android 4.0 so you do have um, fast operations you also do have um, the ability to you know uh, bring in some things into the notification area which you can see here and if we go ahead and check what version of Android we're running we're running Android 4.4.4 uh, the display again is 720p showcase is all that for you as well as how much memory you have now the storage is 8 gigabytes internal with uh, expandable up to 32 you've got uh, expandable notification tray uh, you can clear that out you've also got the ability to uh, go in and cloud applications things like that in terms of built-in apps uh, there are a few things that why we has packed in there nothing too crazy but it's still a fluid system the camera is a 5 megapixel shooter and uh, does a decent job you shouldn't expect anything crazy or uh, over Stella photos are simple nice they do a decent job um, all the way through so um, that's pretty much it with the snap 2 I think it's a solid device uh, it does what it's supposed to do effectively and well uh, without uh, too much issues or slowdowns even with that one gig of RAM and a snapdragon 400 don't expect to use this for gaming extensively now battery life with this you will get some really good battery life it's 2700 milliamp battery so standby ties are up to about 16 days for standby so you can expect some lengthy battery life on the Snap 2. Overall, I do like the vi this device. Uh, it's nothing flashy. Even though pricing-wise, I wish it was priced between the 130 to 150 price range. 179 might just be a little too much, unless of course they update it to um, Android 5.0. Hopefully, we'll see that. But it's still a solid device for what it is. Don't expect major gaming or major um, uh, functionality with this, other than using it for your basic uh, 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 mobile capabilities so if you have any questions or any comments let us know otherwise don't forget to like share this video favorite this video and do subscribe to the channel it's thunder easy thank you and always enjoy your entertainment